Today, a quick look round the studio work in progress. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Well, that is post and a bit of an update on my studio, which is taking shape. I've had a few people ask about it, so I thought I'd give you a quick tour. It's not complete yet, but at least you can see how it's forming. To give you a bit of a sense, this is actually how the studio is currently configured. So the first thing to notice is the green screen there. And then we come around and we then have the desk set up with the lights and then a few other bits and pieces around the, the place too. So what I've done is basically put the main elements of the studio in place now. And so you can see here on my main camera, which is actually in position and also the audio cue. And you can see there the camera just above it. And then I've got the screens either side, which will be used as part of the production process. I've got another screen over there, which is actually going to be my multi view, which is the ATEM view of what's going on. And I also have got the main controller that I use to control and switch the programs. And then I've got my computers under the desk, which are yet to be connected up. I've got two over there and a printer. And I've got another two over here. And also, of course, my keyboard, which is also part of the studio setup. So you can see that I've actually got quite a lot more space than in my other configuration in Australia. And this has been carefully crafted to give me plenty of capacity to run the show and also manage the various aspects of it. I'd also make the point that the green screen, this is the one I brought from Australia, is a very simple thing I built myself. So it's basically just a aluminium frame that I built myself with a covering of green material over it. But it is movable and also means that when I want to play the piano, I can remove the screen altogether. And by the way, for those of you who followed the uh, work over the recent months, not only have we redecorated, but now I've got stuff in all the shelves as well. You can see that there. So there you go. That's the main part of the studio. I'll give you a more detailed tour later. I'm going to be connecting everything up and making it all work. But even now, I do actually have the green screen working and I do have the ability to be able to see myself. And just to give you a bit of a sense of how that looks, here's me looking at the teleprompter, looking at me taking the video. <laughs> Talk about recursive. And just one other little gem. Of course, my piano has also arrived. And I will just give you a little bit of a sense of that. So there we go. The piano is now in place. So what I've done is arrange it so that the piano is in a separate part of the main room and you can see there that the studio is actually behind the various shelves and there's the light in the background. So that gives me the opportunity to record the piano and also run cables back to the main studio from the piano when I want to record. There's a lot more work to be done here and there's a lot more work to be done with the studio you might chuckle, but this is actually what the boxes of stuff look like. So there's quite a lot more to put uh, together, including all the cabling. And then the final part of the story, hello Meteor, there's a doggy. It's Meteor, hello Meteor, what are you doing? Luna's down the corridor, there you go. 
So this is the other part of the studio. So this, of course, is the um, switching elements. So this is going to be the other part that I have to build up. And this will stay this side of the wall so that I can keep the noise away from the main studio. So there we go, just a little bit of an update. There's a lot more to come, but uh, it'll take another maybe week or so before it's fully working. But I am planning to make a show on Tuesday, which will be a live stream on mortgage stress. And I might make a couple of other shows over the next few days as I go and as I continue to test the studio build. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for the next video. This is Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. We'll see you next time.